Kia ora. my name is Teague. I'm one of the performers on Kiwi Moon. I play a bunch of different roles and I'm here today with Serena. Um, hi, how's it going? Hi, I'm great. Yeah, good. Uh, Welcome to Pukaha. Thank you very much. What do you do here? I'm working at the visitor centre here. So yeah, I love the Kiwi. They're great. There's actually five different types of Kiwi in New Zealand. Here at Pukaha, we have the North Island Brown Kiwi. In, in the South Island, there's uh, Tokuweka, um, the Roe, uh, the Great Spotted Kiwi, and we also have the Little Spotted Kiwi. So they spread different places throughout the country. A lot of them are on offshore islands that are predator free, or in reserves like ours, or fully fenced reserves. Their feathers are actually really fine and fluffy and almost hair like really soft. They're not obviously needed for swimming or flying, so they don't have to lock together. So they're just to keep them warm. But then again, if you touch something like their legs, for example, their legs are actually really rough, almost like sandpaper. And then you have to watch out for their claws. That's their main form of defence. They've got really sharp claws. So at Pukaha, we have wild kiwi in our reserve. We also have kiwi in captivity. At the moment, we've got Mapuna and Manawa. Mapuna is our white kiwi and um, his mate Manawa. And so they live in here in a protected fenced off area. And two of their offspring are in a nocturnal house at the, at the moment. Also at Pukaha, we get eggs from our reserve or potentially from other places throughout the country involved in Operation Nest Egg and eggs are sent here and they're incubated and they're hatched and raised here until they um, reach a certain weight and then they're sent, sent back to where they came from or to be re-released re into forests and they've got a much better chance of survival. You imagine a kiwi is actually not that much bigger than a chicken. Kiwi eggs are probably about six times the size of a chicken so they're massive. The poor kiwi mum, <laughs> when she's got this big egg inside her, just before she actually lays the egg, she hasn't got much room for much else inside her because that egg is just so big. It's one of the largest eggs per bird size that there is, so they're huge. That shell is actually pretty tough, and so the kiwi keeps having to have rest, so it might poke its little beak through, and then it has to have a rest for about half a day or so, or longer, and then it gets stuck in again, and it gets its legs in there, and its beak, and then keeps having rest, and it can take anywhere from three to five days for it actually to break completely out of the egg, so um, it's a pretty tiring process breaking out of the egg. <laughs> when they hatch, and they um, come out of the egg, they, um, are not actually fed by their parents at all. So the parents don't necessarily look after them. So like with the North Island brown kiwi, they might hang out with their dad for a, a week or two and then they go and find their own way in the world. Other kiwi, they do tend to hang out with their parents for a little while, um, a few years potentially, but mum and dad kiwi don't actually feed their little, little babies at all. Imagine human being. <laughs> yeah, mum and dad aren't involved at all with the kiwi.